Three years on from the discovery of 28-year-old Craig Wilcox's body, his parents still have no answers. Despite six men having been arrested in relation to Craig's murder, it seems there are still missing pieces in the jigsaw that needed to be found in order to charge them. Police are keen for witnesses to come forward with information that could supply those missing pieces. We spoke to Detective Chief Inspector Terry Crompton at Dovestones Reservoir on the Mosley Greenfield border, where Craig's body was discovered six weeks after his initial disappearance. Okay. Uh, three years ago today, Craig uh, went missing. He was last seen by his parents. Uh, and around about six weeks later, his body was recovered here at Dovestones Reservoir. Um, he was initially treated as, as a missing from home. There were a number of false sightings of him. Uh, but uh, after his body was recovered, we did, we did some more work and we realised a short time after that that there were a number of indications that this was actually suspicious. And since that time, we've treated this, uh, this as a homicide inquiry. Well, the, the, the official cause of death is unascertained, but uh, the reality is that he either drowned or he died of hypothermia here at the reservoir. Uh, on, on the 6th of, uh, of January, um, he, we, he had no means of getting here at all. Um, earlier in that day, he'd, he'd been in good spirits. Uh, he, there was no suicide note left. There was no reason why he would have uh, uh, come up here. He hadn't visited it before. Um, so we think someone brought him up here on the night. Uh, we, we did some work around his phone and his phone travelled from the area where he lived in Newton Heath up through Oldham uh, and up to Dovestone's Reservoir and his phone went back that night but in view of the fact that he was recovered here six weeks later we, we don't think uh, that he went back with his phone that night. We, we really appeal to witnesses, that's what, that's what we really need uh, but that just doesn't mean people that were here on the night. We've arrested six people in relation to this and we do think people may have been told things, may have had disclosures off those people or, or may have some information third hand that, that could, could help us but we're never going to give up on this investigation you know it has been three years but we we continue to to look for clues and evidence Indeed. and those and those people that are responsible will have to look over their shoulders well we haven't had enough information to, to be able to charge those people so we, we we still need more more evidence effectively for them or anybody else anybody that comes into the inquiry obviously we'll deal with but uh, we do need the public's help in this. And, and, and what I would say is think about what Craig's parents are going through. And if you think about it on the night, on the, on the 6th of January, you know, the drive-in here, it, it's abs it must have been absolutely terrifying for Craig to be faced with whatever he was facing that day. Now, as I understand it, the six men, or the, uh, the, 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 some of the six men at least, that have been arrested, um, are involved in the production and distribution of cannabis. Can we say that Craig was inv also involved in that milieu? Unfortunately, Nigel, I can't say that in relation to any of the, any of the questions you just asked. I can't confirm or otherwise. Would that not help the inquiry at all? I, I, it's just information I'm not allowed to legally uh, mention. Right, OK. Now, uh, are you still looking for the missing shoe and the missing phone? No, we recovered the, the, the shoe So uh, when his body was recovered, but we did further searches here and we recovered his shoe um, a couple of months later. Uh, as uh, During the hotter weather, as the, as the lake rescinded, we did recover, recover his shoe, but his phone does remain outstanding. Until police find answers to those missing last minutes of Craig's journey to Dovestone's Reservoir, they will struggle to conclude the investigation. But they have vowed they will never give up, and in a sign they may be a little closer, all bail for the six men arrested has been withdrawn. Were you in the Dovestone's area on the 6th of January, around 10 o'clock? Do you remember anything suspicious? If so, please call the police on 856 9283, and anything will be treated in total confidence.